What's going on guys? I am True Racer and in this video we're going to go over what I do to afford racing. Um, I get this question a lot actually but it's actually the wrong question to ask. Uh, a lot of people want to like I guess think that I make a lot of money because you know, I'm, I'm able to race and I'm able to spend a little bit extra on racing and stuff like that but that's not the case really at all. I actually in 2015 I made barely over $60,000 uh, just for myself. Um, the real question to ask is what I, or it's how I was, how I'm able to pay for racing, I guess you can say, um, or what it got, where, or what my past was to be able to get me to how I could afford racing. Um, and it's, it, it's all about more or less debt management. The only re reason I can afford racing is because I don't, or, or my wife, we don't have any debt aside from our mortgage. Uh, and so, you know, when I started, or when I when I was coming out of high school, it was more or less um, go to college and learn something you don't care about and spend money, many dollars, or join the military, um, be a badass, and gain dollars. Okay, so when I left high school, it, it, that's really where it, it started it was like lose money or gain money and and you know in a sense of you know pure you know a, a monetary you know focus that was just obvious the obvious uh, choice for me um aside from all the other awesome factors of joining the the service but uh, that kind of started me off on the right foot you know there's so many people uh you know, they, they just don't know what they're going to do coming out of high school and they just join their local uh, college and they just start spending away. And it just becomes an epidemic of everybody just having to get loans out and student loan debt. And, and you're starting you're starting off in debt. And that's really where a lot of people go wrong. Um, for me, it was mainly just, um, I, I, you know, I got, I got a good footing in with the Marine Corps and... Uh, I decided to go to take that route and you know I was I was able to just kind of live within my means and not get into debt at all that was one thing you know but it was one thing actually my dad kind of embedded in me he's like whatever you do you know worry about your credit and don't and don't get into too much debt uh, and I'm, I'm really uh, thankful for that because it definitely helped me out in the long run to the point where I'm at now and hopefully even more success in that area down down the road um, so I so I joined the Marine Corps and I focused on not being lavish, buying brand new cars or buying brand new any you know really anything that's too important. You know, when I was in the Marine Corps, I bought my uh, BMW. You know, it's a, it's a nice car, but it was you know I had over a hundred thousand miles on it and it was used. Um, I bought that and my main goal was to have that paid off before I got out of the Marine Corps. And I was able to do that so that when I got out of the Marine Corps. I didn't have any debt, right? And I had a little bit of extra money, but not not too much. And then after that, it was just you know, just not having debt is is the is the biggest part. Um, and then I got a job shortly after, and it's it's what I do now is um, I'm a mechanic and a welder for a trash truck company. So I guess if you want to go back to the core question of what I do to afford afford racing. Uh, I am a mechanic and a welder for a trash truck company. Basically, uh, I work, you know, almost 50 hours a week usually uh, fixing trash trucks, uh, either with, you know, mechanical repairs or welding repairs and such like that. Um, it's a job that definitely uh, has been good since I've gotten out of the Marine Corps. It pays, you know, it pays all right, pays the bills. Um, it's definitely not something I want to do forever. I mean, seriously, I don't want to work on trash trucks, but... Uh, it pays the bills now, and it allows me allows me to race. And then, um, it, but I've always lived within my means. You know what I mean? Like we definitely, you know, we stretch it a little bit here, stretch it a little bit there. But if I ever went into debt, my priority goal was to get that debt paid off. And uh, I guess this this video will kind of turn into more or less a, a a helpful video for anybody who's you know in high school or maybe even like in college that it's. <clears throat> You, you want to focus on not having debt because that's going to make you so much more powerful and you won't have to be a slave to anybody else of having to pay off 
something here and pay off this or be in debt for the rest of your life. And being debt free is kind of like the main focus of of I guess how I can afford racing. I mean, if you think about it, a lot of the uh, a lot of the adults today, or even even yourself, if you're looking at this, think about how much you're paying for. Uh, like how much you're paying in debt each month, like how much credit card bills plus car bills or, you know, car payments plus credit card payments plus blah, 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 blah. And you're probably paying just as much of that as I'm paying for racing. I give myself a budget of about five to $600 a month for racing, right? And I, I'm kind of strict on not going over that. And then you'll, that's why you kind of see in the videos where we're kind of, you know, <laughs> we're not always getting a hotel and we're not always, uh, we don't always have the best equipment. But, uh, you know, I, I definitely try to live within my means and make sure to not go into debt. Because once you start going into debt, it's like, okay, I'll just go a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. But you really just got to focus on staying out of debt. Um, to kind of, I guess to kind of, you know, to kind of build on that, it, it's mostly how I afford racing is I don't have debt. Uh, and therefore, I'm, I'm able to use a little bit of my extra spending money for, or my, I'm able to use my spending money on myself and not to pay, pay off debt of previous things that I enjoyed. You know, so I guess, I guess that, I guess that's how we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. It's not. So the question is, what I do to afford racing? Um, I'm a mechanic and a welder, but that's not really the question you should be asking. It's what I've done to be able to afford racing. And that is, I've always strived to live a debt-free life. Let me know if you got any questions. Uh, feel free, I know this is a little a little different than my normal videos, but uh, feel free to ask any questions or comments that you might have in this regard. Maybe I'll go into some more details about it in another video if you guys want to. But nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay true and race on.